Some levels, like around this part of the game, have FMVs when you enter them. <laughs> Nick -nack. Why is he laughing at us? <laughs> Nick Nack Paddywhack, give the dog a bone! Why did you sing that damn song? It was in a Batman comic. Doesn't mean it goes here. Anyway, welcome to Scarecrow Fields. Here's a little funny little hit. The scarecrows here are almost unstoppable, so don't be a hero. Which means, kill them if you want your chalice to go up. <laughs> <laughs> this can actually be rather nasty on the first time gamer because of this attack. You want to know that by me kicking its ass, but... <laughs> what does it do? It spins like crazy, it drains your shield, and it hurts you like crazy fucking hell. These guys get replaced in the remake for some hay monsters, but those actually are some rather nasty fuckers. Nasty in terms of what? Damage dealing damage, potential. Damage, probably. Okay. Well, not really damage, damage, but they're freaking they got some good staying power. Why won't you move? Damn insurmountable height wasteland. Wait, was it? Insurmountable wasteland wall. There you go. No, fence, fence, it's a fence. You can't jump over it. Look at the vicious makers and the blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Basically, it's a book warning you about monsters and these giant metal machines that we'll have to take care of anyway, so the warning's rather useless. Well, it's a warning. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, energy ball. Yay! That makes me happy. <laughs> oh, baby, you have no idea. Yeah, yeah, what do you want? I have my sword. It seems like I'm being a little more conservational than I should by going back to the small sword, but I really rather save that big sword when I want it. I still have to enough it. to get the bus back home. <laughs> Wait, they take broadswords as payment? <laughs> Two fifty? It's not enough for the bus back home. How about I strike you with my broadsword? Will that get me back home? A uh, block? Oh. <laughs> Alright, you gotta take out one of these fuckers now. Uh, Alright, so your sword is enchanted? Yeah. Does it? Alright, all right. the difference between the broadsword and the enchanted sword, obviously, besides an increased damage output, but how much would you say is the damage output is increased? Would you say double? Notably, I can't give you an exact estimate, but when I fight another scarecrow, you'll notice the damage output. Well, out of all the medieval themes you've been running into, this thing really sticks out. <laughs> oh, wait till we get to the Zarok Slayer. He uses a brand new science never before seen called. Actually, damn it, I fucked up my joke. <laughs> <laughs> he uses a new brand I new magic. I think the punchline was science. Yeah. Oopsie. You missed oh, the rune. Fuck. He has to die. You know that, right? Why? Yeah. Chalice, dude. Let's see if I can get him. Oh, I thought you were talking about yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's just sad. Can you use your crossbow? Can I get his attention? Hey. Fuck! Fuck hey. this fence! <laughs> it's so stupid! I mean, it's not like I could just use Probably. the hole and then shoot it. No, that would be just, that's just stupid. That would be an effort in programming. <laughs> I opened the door, it's back there. I fucked up because I had to go all the way around. Sorry. Uh -huh. Wait a minute. Couldn't you just hit it more? The Something car. went wrong. What? Unless I missed it. Oh. Well, that was a waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> Fail. <laughs> These things are really annoyances that all they serve to do. Ooh, club. The only thing they serve to do is to draw attention away from your little um aiming sight if you're going long range. Yeah. So do you have thirty drumsticks? Oh yeah, I'll show what they do in a few. I'd rather save them though because I'm not sure I can get a refill on them. I hope that's. I can't help but think you're refilling your magic meter. I see what you mean. Scarecrow. It just popped up. Damage output increase. It's gold. Gold. Now it only takes like roughly five swipes to get rid of these fuckers thanks to it. It looks like it. A percent is taken out for each swing. Roughly, I won't say exactly. I think it is each swing, you're right. I mean, that's what it looks like, too. Like, the enemy wasn't even there, you swung it, it went down one. 
Yeah, it, there is a notable power increase, but it's not like the broadsword in and of itself is bad enough to the point where if, you know, you never bother to enchant it, it won't do any good damage. Science! <laughs> How's the Embe able to get up there anyway? He probably had a ladder. The ladder was to collapse as soon as he climbed up to the so top. And now you can't. 15, this was the 1300s. Now you can't get down. Wait till you see those design choices in Medieval 2. This is the 1300s? Galamir 1386, I believe. The era of the black. Oh, wait, black. is it 1586? Either this is 1300s or it's 1500s. I, I would say 1500s. The era of the black of the plague? Yeah, actually, no, this may be 1300s. I'm trying to remember the exact number of years it took from between this and Medieval 2. Yeah, cornfield. Think of that as your bottomless pit. Why? You walk in there, some little turd monster comes out and kills you. <laughs> huh. My morbid curiosity wants you to get killed by it, but no. <laughs> so it's like the so it's like so it's like Mario Three when you go into water, Big Bertha's there. Ooh, quarter rod demonstratum. What? See that thing that leaped out there? That's what kills you. I like I'd like to see when you put the enemy in there, then it would kill them. I I would I would really like to see that, but that won't work. My thing is, why does it stop at the cornfield? Because, because it's it, it for a reason. <laughs> the plot demands it. <laughs> no, because if they didn't, if because if it came out of the cornfield, I'd be fucked. Get lost, you fucking crows. <laughs> you dick. <laughs> uh, they're gonna peck your eye out. See that thing? Uh, what? Oh, it's a flea man. Kind of. It's known as a wood demon. <laughs> then why is it in corn? Wood starch. I don't know. You act like I'm the script writer here. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I haven't given a chance to play Shine in a while? What's that? Ranged weaponry. Anyway, what's this do? Drumstick. <laughs> Turns into a healthy dinner. <laughs> Stores your health. You got roast chicken. I just like that dig sound. <laughs> oh yeah. Like ding ding, order up. <laughs> ding, fries are done. Ding, fries are done. Now, Shit, no, no, no. Yeah, I was gonna. S okay, well, you kind of. I work a fuck with you on this. You level. you answered my question that I was about to ask. I was like, say like there's a small patch of cornfield. If any part of you steps in the cornfield, you become a target. Okay, I was gonna say, but I was gonna say like, the cornfield forces you to take the long way of these winding pathways. But say like there was like a small patch of cornfield, preventing you from taking a shortcut. Does just stepping into the cornfield trigger the instant death? Stepping into it, no. The demon has to find you. Okay. But the demon is pretty goddamn fast enough to the point where you may as well not even fucking bother. So either way, you'll still be fucked. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah, the scarecrow's Rex for gymnasts. Yeah. <laughs> now we have a little obstacle course. Oh, the wheel. Oh! Death! Actually, it's a tender riser. I'll take that. But what's it? How's it gonna tenderize bone? You become grounded in the dust. Okay. Here lies Fortescue Bird with his claymore. <laughs> Will this be enough to fill the bomb? Oh yeah. Let's hope. Hey Johnny. Do you think during this little tidbit here, you could put in like the Legends of the Hidden Temple music? Why? Temple run? <laughs> oh, here? Yeah. For hell I'm not sure if I could find an instrumental version of it without any background noise. Fuck. These are hard to avoid for me. Patience will win you today, but you know me. I'm not a patient man. I, I was actually gonna tell you that you could just use that, but I just see that it's bigger. Than, it's large. It's bigger than the other ones. The correct answer would be I could have walked. <laughs> Harvester part. Now we gotta go back through this. What's the harvester part? It's, it's part a, of it's a harvester. Part for the harvester. What's a harvester? You use it to harvest stuff. Oh. Elliot learns a lot. That, do, that just doesn't. That just doesn't help. That's death in the middle, as you can no doubt tell. Oh, of course. Oops. Oh, temple guard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. 
don't know. How now, to in do perspective, that. in perspective here, I pretty much kicked my ass, but I deserved it. Whoops. Da, da, da. All right, and we're out of the temple. Uh huh. <laughs> Where did I win? Kodak camera. Oh God, damn it! <laughs> no, you had to. You know, you had to say it in. The How way is he said. that a prize? <laughs> yeah, no, you had to say it the way he was saying. <laughs> yeah, no, but nobody will understand what I was saying. Exactly. But he's not, Johnny's not jawless, so the joke doesn't have to fully apply to him. Anyway, <laughs> what are you trying oh. to say? Mm. Anyway, and here we go. More flies. Yeah, fuck you too. Fortescue <laughs> Jesus two. Jesus Christ, overkill. <laughs> Fortescue two. Flies zilch. Three. And here's the harvester. You want to know by looking at it? It's like a fucking baby carriage from the Adams family. That's pretty much the joke I was about to make. <laughs> anyway, so flavor text here reveals that it's been missing a part and nobody bothered to look for it. There These people is. have no wills. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Darn. That's one harvester. More powerful than anything we have now, I bet. Oh shit. But the wood demon still remains. Yeah. Oh! It's a little slow to regenerate, though. I have to give it that. Oh, okay, I guess the... There's Be a little patient because the camera can fuck you over. And we got our chalice. A life bottle. Whoa! That was close. And a salesman. One thing I want to recommend. He doesn't change these services depending upon your percentage amount. So yeah, I see. It's a constant 100 for a full... So even if you're at 99%, if for some reason you wanted it back at 100%, you still have to shell out 100. Yeah. Wow. And now we can leave the scarecrow field. <laughs> We're done. I just gotta get back out there. Oh! That. Ah. <laughs> yeah, camera can fuck you over heavily in this. Kind of reminds me of the Yeti and Ski Free. The what? The Yeti and Ski Free. Ah. You can actually catch. Oh a little, yeah. You can actually catch a glimpse of it a little bit. Mm-hmm. Back to the temple? Yeah, the temple of agriculture. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> no, Fortescue just winced at your joke. You know, if I'm actually overlapping the business, it's because it's incredibly redundant. What? Elliot humming the temple theme. <laughs> Oh, so you just ran out of life points. Life points? Well, the life Yeah, I know, that was my fault. I ran into a blue-watch white dragon. Anyway. <laughs> Shut up, man. <laughs> um, it'll come back, though, if you replay the level. So, like I said, that's this is one thing this game did right over its uh, sequel, Medieval 2. What, there? You, you lose them and they're gone forever? Yeah. Jeez. So you can end up in a dead game. I hate that. like that one part in Final Fantasy V where I got stuck. Ah. <laughs> Which was? Library. Everybody hates the library in Final Fantasy V. I wasn't exactly ready for the Biblos fight, so... Uh, and I couldn't go back. Never thought you'd see a gargoyle in, on a tree. Anyway. Godzilla, King of the Monsters! It's alive! That would be a hell of a find in a pumpkin patch. <laughs> Pumpkin, squash, pumpkin, so pumpkin, Godzilla lizard. was a pumpkin the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> so he's the actual great pumpkin. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I would hate to think that getting allies is ever a step back. <laughs> choppity chop. Choppity chop. Never heard choppity chop. I heard chop chop, but not choppity chop, but okay, I'll take that, I guess. Okay. Anyway, let's go back here and pay a visit to oh, this dick. <laughs> By God, Fortescue, you must be the luckiest corpse ever to walk the face of the earth. Not even skeleton. Of it, it's skeleton. It's skeleton, really. Still a corpse. Yeah, you're still you're still worm chow. Gangly. Gangly. Oh, that's how you spell buffoon. 
How did you think it was spelled? B A F F O O N. Beefloon? That's bad food. <laughs> no, he said B E A F L O N. No, no I said B A. No, I said B A. Oh. But now I know how he's not. Now, now I know how he spelled the food, which really so I could have went on Google and, and looked it know. up. <laughs> Which really, I could have been on Google and check check it, but okay. Yeah, Google would have spell checked it for you. Did you mean buffoon? Dumb at you, buffoon. <laughs> <laughs> now again, we get another branching path. Where you have to clear the most anyway, so there's no fucking point. These areas are feeling quite fabulous. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Which is more than you can say for the populace itself. So I'm pretty, they're pretty fucked. Oh, it's Fashion Week at Pumpkin Gorge. 